Breaking, Joe Biden raises minimum wage to $15 an hour for federal contractors. You heard right, folks. This comes courtesy of The Guardian. And it says, Joe Biden has signed an executive order that will raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour for federal contractors, providing a pay bump to hundreds of thousands of workers. The Biden administration said that the higher wages would lead to greater work productivity, offsetting any additional cost to the taxpayer, according to them. They said, quote, the executive order will promote economy and efficiency in federal contracting, providing value to taxpayers by enhancing worker productivity and generating higher quality work by boosting workers' health, morale, and effort. So that is what the Biden White House said in a statement. Biden has pushed to establish a $15 an hour minimum wage nationwide for all workers, making it part of the coronavirus relief package. It says, but the Senate parliamentarian said that the wage hike did not follow the budgetary rules and that was allowed in the $1.9 trillion plan to pass with a simple majority. So it was not included in the bill that became law back in March. But he didn't care. <laughs> That's how it works with these Democrats. They do not care. They will do it by executive order. This is just the beginning for federal contractors. They just want to see what they can get away with. And since they're getting away with uh, doing a $15 increase, or you know, making the minimum wage to $15 for contractors, it's just a matter of time before they do it for everybody else. It's just the way that they do things, folks. They've been doing, they did that during the Obama years and they're doing that now during the Biden years. It says that the Liberal Economic Policy Institute estimates that as many as 390,000 low-wage federal contractors will receive a raise. It says, with roughly half of the beneficiaries being Black and Latino workers, according to them. There are an estimated 5 million contract workers in the federal government, according to a posting last year by the Brookings Institute by Paul Light, a public policy professor in the University of New York. Sylvia Walker, a federal contract worker at Maximus, which operates call centers uh, at, for the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, called the executive order an important first step. And like I said, they want to test the waters. And the best way for them to test the waters is to raise the minimum wage for federal workers to $15 an hour. If they're able to get away with it and there's no pushback from the Republican Party, then it's just a matter of time before they do it on a federal level. Because they can't get it through the legal system, because they can't get it through the Senate and the House and pass it by law, they're going to use their executive power, or Biden's going to use his executive power to make $15 an hour the federal minimum wage is just a matter of time if the republicans let him get away with it which up to this point the republicans have said nothing they've been mum and they're going to they're going to continue to be mum because the republicans have absolutely no spine they bow down to biden it says that the increase could be a could be dramatic for workers who earn the current minimum wage of $10.95 an hour. It says those workers will receive a 37% pay hike, though the increase will be rolled out gradually according to the terms of that executive order. It says the White House said that the workers would include uh, cleaning professionals and maintenance workers, nursing assistants who care for veterans, cafeteria workers providing for the military, and laborers who build and repair federal infrastructure. All federal agencies would need to include the higher wage in new contract offerings as of January the 30th of the following year, which means 2022. It says by March 30th, Agencies will need to implement the higher wage into new contracts. The increase will also be in existing contracts as they are extended. So imagine this. You are a contractor that it took you 20 years or let's say not 20 years, but let's say 10 years to get to $15 an hour. And now all of a sudden you're back at minimum wage. That is some crazy stuff. So any new person that gets a contract 
or that gets hired under a new contract is going to get paid $15 an hour. You have been working, let's say, at a cafeteria somewhere, and you work for the federal government, and it took you 10 to 15 years to get to $15 an hour. Now, overnight, you are at minimum wage. These people are nuts. Like President Trump will say, loco, these people are, these people are crazy, folks. It says that the wage will, uh, will be indexed to inflation, so it will automatically increase with each, each year uh, to reflect changes in prices. It says the tipped minimum wage right now is $7.65 an hour for federal contractors, but it will be replaced by the standard minimum by 2024. So these people will get $15 an hour by 2024. So it says Congress has not raised the minimum wage for any workers from $7.25 since 2007, despite opinion polls showing that Americans overwhelmingly favor an increase. So um, the president of One Fair Wage, a national nonprofit that advocates on the behalf of tip workers, said, quote, change is possible. We urge Congress to follow President Biden's uh, courageous leadership and make all workers a federally minimum wage of $15. And like I said, they just want to test the waters. That's what this is all about. And they have been doing this forever. They did it under Obama. I'm sure that they did it under Clinton. And now they're doing it under Biden. This is what they do. If they cannot get it through the actual system to get it to the president's desk, what they do is they test it. They use their executive powers to test it little by little. They throw one crumb, then another crumb, and then another crumb. See how much they can get away with. And then all of a sudden, boom, here comes the big one. And, uh, and the Republicans do absolutely nothing. That is the truth. The Republicans have no spine. The Republicans will do nothing about this up until the point when $15 becomes the minimum wage federally. And then after that, the Republicans will come out and start bitching and complaining. But at that point, nothing can change it. The Democrats did exactly what they wanted to do. And now businesses will be destroyed. Uh, jobs will be terminated. As you guys probably saw, I put up a tweet just a few days ago of, of, a, new, of a new robot called Flippy. I don't know if you guys saw that. If, if you guys didn't, go make sure you go and follow, follow our, uh, our Twitter. Um, so there's this new robot called Flippy. And what it is, is a fry cook. It's a fry cook robot that is going to be implemented and going to be used in um, all fast food. It can work 24 hours a day. It doesn't need breaks. It doesn't need time off. It doesn't need uh, holiday pay. It doesn't need nothing. It can work 24-7, 365 nonstop. And that is where we're headed. That's exactly where we're headed. It is a sad thing because a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. And they're going to lose their jobs because of radicals that are pushing this $15 an hour uh, thing that some people say it should happen. Some people say it shouldn't happen. But at the end of the day, these corporations are greedy AF and they're going to try to do anything in their power to make sure that not only this doesn't happen, but if it does happen by executive order, that they already have a plan B to make sure that they get rid of everyone and replace everyone with robots. But let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Sound off in the comments. Make sure you visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com and you bookmark it. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter and you like us on Facebook. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Give your opinions, your suggestions, your comments. What do you guys think about that in the comments below? Also, let us know, are you in favor or against uh, the wage uh, being at $15 an hour, minimum wage being federally $15 an hour? Will it get you angry if you have been in a job for 10 years and you finally made it to $15 an hour and then overnight you're back at minimum wage? What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Jen Goldstein. Thank you so much for joining us here at the newsroom. Make sure that you join us on the next one. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and click that bell. Also, most importantly, make sure you click that thumbs up button, folks. Click that thumbs up button because that helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. Thanks so much, folks, and we'll see you soon. Peace.